Hello guys, Frankomatic here, and in a slight change from formula, let's go with, uh, let's play some Balloon Fight. By which I mean Balloon Tournament 2006. A crazy Japanese-made freeware version of Balloon Fight. We're going to be a button. And it's got multiple levels, which I only recently just beat all because some of the later ones are terrible. This play is exactly like my good old favorite game of Balloon Fight on the, uh... Nintendo. Except it's on the PC! And the objectives are a little different, usually. Although, first, DM's objective is still just kill. Kill your opponent. Sadly, we can never be the Stickly Man. That is AI only. Kind of like the wireframe from Smash Brothers. Why did that exit? Oh, whatever, you get the idea of first DM. This is just another deathmatch stage, except... It's a four-way deathmatch. They get a little more interesting as we go along. The barriers do exactly what they did in the NES version of the game. Bump you around randomly. Also make it kind of a pain in the ass to actually kill somebody in this stage. You might have noticed that the names of the stages and the menu are uh, in different colors. You'll see it again after the stage ends. That is medals. I've gotten gold on most of the levels aside from the later ones where the game stops pretending to not feel like it's not cheating. And getting medals is solely based on time. For the most part, you need to finish in under a minute. But all these yellow ones I got gold in. This is a silver, this is a bronze, and these two are silver. Getting gold unlocks more characters. The button was my most recent unlock, and these are fans. They push you. What a shock, right? This stage is different in that we need to get this thing, and we need to hold on to it for points. And I believe it's the first one the 60 points wins. That's how it is in most of the stages. It might be lower for this first one. And these become a real pain in the ass. Later on. When it ends up being an entire team of like eight guys versus you. The early stages, however, are not too bad because the AI in the first early stages is very terrible. So all we have to do now is successfully stay away from them and hold on to this until the game tells me we've won. I'm only going to give each stage one attempt for this quick little uh, demo of the game because, like I said, some of the later stages are blatantly unfair. And since this is just a little simple little thing, it's uh, not really in need of... That was 45 for this one. What is this one? Ah, the first team deathmatch. Where am I? Oh, I'm down there. I lost myself because I'm blue instead of my usual red. It's blue versus red. Any kills the other blue guys get count for me. Any of them that die count against me. Out of the way, you jerk. There we go. Teamwork. That's how you play the game. Yeah. Or, you know, totally missing your target. That, that's also how you play the game. Also, being an opportunistic dick is how you play the game. Killing spree doesn't really mean anything, sadly. You don't get bonuses or anything for it, it just means you've been kicking ass. And a lot of it. And this is another hold the object stage. With the gimmick this time being, once again, it's team based. And we have our first lightning cloud. 
they still do exactly what they did in the Nintendo game, but shoot out sparks randomly that instantly kill you. Let them all fight it out over there. Well, oh good, my entire team died. Luckily, you haven't hit wives. Now we play the runaway game. I'm pretty sure this one is a 60 second round. <sighs> I really wish the lightning would kill the other team and not my team repeatedly. And the fish is still there. He just made a brief appearance. Twice. He still serves the same purpose of murdering you if you get too close to him. And let him grab you. And occasionally he jumps out to catch you when you fall to your death. Because he's a nice guy like that and doesn't want you to hurt yourself on the water. Epic duels come to an end. Game set. Congratulations. You are the winner of this match. And this is once again just a team death match, except it's two on one. And this is about the point where the AI starts getting into his really obnoxious setups. Having one balloon sucks. Haha. <laughs> I think this one's first of three. It might be six still, though, I don't remember. But this is basically just showing off the maps. You can use most of these maps to set up your own, uh, free match. Oh no. I actually died. Also, while you're in the Mercy Invincibility, you cannot harm your opponents. That could have gone better. There we go. Yeah. I hate those icicles. I hate them so much. Oh no! All of a sudden, I've lost all my confidence. Surprising, I know, but. Whoa, okay. Oh, thank you, icicle. Yeah, it looks like it's a six. Might be to five. Ah. Also, as you might have suspected, teammates cannot hurt each other. So I can't just hope the AI kills itself. Hey, new record. Nice. This is another hold the object stage. One on three. So kind of like the last one, except without my team to help me out. This game gets a lot easier when you understand the physics behind it. Which is basically asteroid physics. Now, if you start moving in one direction, you'll keep moving that direction until you start applying force in the opposite direction. And now I sound like a physics professor. There are no immobile objects here, though everything can move. Including those guys who are moving by gravity down into the water. Haha. <laughs> That was totally unnecessary, but it was fun. This why I have a simple object carrying match, you can just murder your opponents and then confuse them by moving to the bottom of the map while they're on the top of the map. There's still early enough on that the AI is completely retarded. And this one is a 260 match. So the excitement of watching me stand here is going to continue for three more seconds. Ah, the first capture the flag match. This works exactly like you would expect. We need to get the red flag and bring it over to our blue flag. Well, they are trying to get the red flag and bring it over, or they're trying to get the blue flag to bring it over to our red flag. Luckily, as I said, the AI is functionally retarded. Fifteen seconds. A new record. And soccer is kind of like capture the flag, except the flag is a neutral object. In that there's only one of it, and we need to bring it back to our goal. While the AI tries to bring it over to their goal. Uh, oh wait, no, wrong. I need to bring it to their goal. And they need to try and bring it to our goal. 
This gets much worse later on. I forget how many points this matches to. It's actually almost better in these modes to not fully kill your opponent if you can avoid it. So it takes longer for them to have to... Oh, it's a three. It takes longer for them to have to re-pump up a balloon than it does from the respawn. Ah, this is the first stage where the game starts getting terrible. And this one's only terrible in sense of gold. It's a match to one. You need to kill one person. Any one person. But to get a gold, you have to do it in within 15 seconds. Which, with all these bumpers and shit, is really difficult to do. It took me forever to manage. And it's about the point where I decide, you know what, it's not worth it. I wish I could go back to being a red button instead of a blue button. And this one is just terrible. In that it's blatantly geared towards the AI instead of you, in that they have to go down very little, and you have to climb way up. And this is actually one of the matches where you'd be better off if the AI did not give you partners. Because they'll keep picking it up and not doing anything useful with it, because they're idiots. And by it, I mean the ball. Whereas if you could get the ball, you could finish this stage a lot faster. Like this. And it's, I think, the three points again, which... is incredibly annoying. No! Thanks a bunch for that, partner. 